What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. This video, <laughs> let me say it like this first, okay? I'm going to talk about the earnings report. I'm going to talk about Adam Aaron, and I'm going to talk about the Bible. So, if the Bible offends you, and it does some people because I've talked about it in the past, told a Bible story, people were offended, and they said they were unsubscribing, but I don't care. I'm not here for subscribers or for views or for clicks. I'm here simply to share with y'all how I feel about this stock. Now, let's talk about Adam Aaron. He said a lot of good things tonight. He did not say what the apes wanted to hear. He said that there are security laws and that it's best for him to focus on the company. Now, don't feel like I'm defending him. Just hold on and just listen to me. However, I told y'all in another video that he's the CEO and he's driving this ship. Okay, I'm just a passenger on it. And you're just a passenger on it. Okay? And the Bible tells me not to speak ill of those in authority. That's why I have the attitude that I have. Okay. It also says that Michael, the archangel, when he confronted Satan, did not bring an accusation against him. He just simply said, the Lord rebukes you. So, Satan being a fallen angel and the enemy of God, and Michael being the top archangel, and he would not speak ill of Satan, tells me we need to understand authority a little better. Now, I got into AMC like I shared with y'all because I was day trading. I took my stimulus money. That was extra. I didn't need that shit. I put it in the stock market, and I did well. I had some pandemic plays, which led to the recovery plays, which led to me finding out about AMC squeeze, which puts me in AMC and I can't get out because <laughs> I'm losing too much. But to speak ill of the CEO, because he won't address the things we need him to address. Let me say this, people. I feel personally as if he could have done a better job. Okay, that to say, and that's all I'm going to say about it, to me, that offended me. And that offended a lot of other retail investors. So we have to make a decision. Now, do I still believe in the squeeze? Yes, I believe in the squeeze. Do I believe the shorts still have to cover? Yes, I still think they have to cover. Do I think they can push this and push this and push this? Well, they've done it for fucking over a year now. So they're going to try and keep doing their best until they bankrupt. But Adam Aaron and tonight's earnings call, we beat estimates, people. We look good as a fundamental company. And I know, I know y'all don't want to hear that, most people. You're in this for the short squeeze. And the squeeze will come, but now, as I said in another video, it appears as if this has become a fundamental play. That once we bring the fundamentals up, and Highcroft does what it's going to do, that's going to be so much money for us. But I know what that means. That means we're going to have to hold a little longer. So people are wanting to know, am I going to defend Adam Aaron? No, I'm not going to defend Adam Aaron. But at the same time, I'm not going to put my mouth against Adam Aaron. Why? Because to put your mouth against authority angers God, and I don't need that. Neither do you. This is a blessing for us. And because it doesn't happen as fast as we want it to, I mean, be honest. How many 
companies have you got into believing it was about to run up? Yeah, I'm fixing to drink this beer because I paid for this sponsor. But how many companies have you got into? It didn't run as fast as you thought it would, so you jumped out only to see it run up a couple weeks later. People, you don't want to do that with this play. This play, when this motherfucker runs, he's going to run. When? Nobody knows. But I do know this. If this has to wait until the fundamentals are right, we're going to smash these motherfuckers. But I don't believe this squeeze is related to the fundamentals of a company. The fundamentals weren't there in January. It wasn't there. June, it's not in any of these other companies that are squeezing, you know. The purpose of the squeeze is the shorts on one side and us on another. And they're doing everything they can. We have no help. The SEC, like Frank said in on Al's live stream, if you're going to be mad at anybody, be mad at Gary Gensler. <laughs> but Adam Aaron is simply running this company. We've been told this over and over and over again. We just don't want to accept it. We want the squeeze. I want the fucking squeeze. But it's going to have to wait. Either till the algorithm moves this motherfucker up or the fundamentals are right and the shorts decide it's time to get out. Now, what do I think about the high cross situation? People, if y'all just, if you can rest your nerves just a little bit, take a deep breath because like I told Al, I left the live stream because I learned from experience that when you're upset or when you're disappointed, it's best to get off by yourself, leave everybody alone until you get over those emotions. So, that's what I plan on doing. Kicking back, relax, take a deep breath. Tomorrow I'll take a look at it again and we'll go from there. I love y'all. <laughs> You're family to me. And I ain't talking about the Lou kind of family. I'm talking about when, when you take the time to watch how I feel and think, that blesses me. So, your family. And for somebody to come out against you like one person thought I did saying if you don't like what Adam Aaron's doing get out to stop I'm not going to take that approach I'm going to say this if you're looking for the squeeze I'll say this I've been in this motherfucker for over a year and if it takes another six months to a year, it's just going to take another six months to a year. And I got this hope messaging me. I got to call. I got to get back with y'all. Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.